Laser OS now comes with a light painting app. The idea is to use the long exposure setting or bulb exposure available on many cameras to capture a still image painted with laser light. To get started, set up your laser cube as usual and start the Laser OS app on your Android. Go to the light painting app and tap to import an image. You can use any custom image on your Android device, like a photo you've taken or downloaded or created. Blank before start is a setting which sets a delay before the image starts scanning. Exposure time is the amount of time it takes for the laser cube to scan your entire image. This should match the amount of time your camera's shutter is open. Longer exposures tend to have better image detail, but you have to be careful not to let too much light into your camera's sensor or it will come out blurry and overexposed. Lasers are extremely bright, so it's a good idea to start with a narrow aperture or high f-stop. In bulb exposure mode, the shutter stays open as long as you're pressing the shutter button. A remote trigger for your camera can be useful, but isn't necessary. When you press play, an outline is displayed which matches the size and aspect ratio of your image. When you press start, the outline goes away and your image starts scanning after the amount of delay you've set. Press the shutter button on your camera to open the shutter, wait for the scan to complete, then release the button to close the shutter. What you'll see is a line of laser light scanning in your projection area. What your camera sees is much different. You may need to experiment a few times to get it perfect. If the laser light is too bright for your camera, you can also reduce the power of the laser cube in the settings menu. You can get creative and project 3D images or project onto surfaces which are not flat. For this shot, I projected with two cubes. I used the wide angle beam expander lens to enlarge the scanning area in this small space. Another fun thing to try is getting a light painting board which absorbs light and glows for about 15 minutes afterwards. These are cheap and easy to find. We look forward to seeing what you can do with the new light painting app. Enjoy!